that there is a creator for them. So you don't know what is going to happen. I have given them potentials to know me much better and in a much wider sense than you do. Because they have a choice. They can take the right course and the wrong course. They can make mistakes. They, then they can come to me for seeking forgiveness. After having sinned and erred, while the angels don't do that, they have no choices. And the progress which is made only after an option being given, the development of mental faculties and other faculties, that also was lacking in angels because there is no struggle between right and wrong. So all these factors enlarged the concept of man, of, of God, in view of the creatures of God. And these are the asma which were told to Adam. That is to say, some attributes of Allah which were not only unknown but inconceivable by angels, which only came into being when a relationship was established between man and God. That is the first meaning of asma. And the first meaning of Adam here would be that the first uh, prophet of God that was ever appointed as a messenger to mankind, that was Adam, to whom Allah spoke, and it was not the first man. And the asma in that case would be a limited manifestation of Allah upon that first prophet of Allah. But we go further because Hazrat Masih Maud has made it categorically clear that the real caliph which is mentioned in these verses is not the first Adam. He is only caliph by way of a shadow. The real caliph is Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he is the culmination of that uh, ultimate uh, summit where man could understand God as best as man could ever do that. And that happened only at the time of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Because the prophets of the earlier stages did not know Allah as widely, as best, as perfectly as Allah revealed himself to Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wa So according to Hazrat Masih Maud commentary, the real true caliph, which is mentioned in this takhliqi adam, the creation of Adam, that is Ahazur sallallahu alaihi wa And this is exactly why when Moses requested Allah to show his face, his full face to him, Allah said, Lam tarani, you are incapable of observing me. I am keeping it for something, some, some, other, some other one who would be born with greater capabilities and greater potentials. It will be he upon whom I will show myself in, not entirely, but according to his full capacity. This is my interpretation. And we say full manifestation of Allah was given to Ahazur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That does not mean that entire Allah was known. Because unlimited cannot be contained by the limited. And it's against the verdict of the Holy Quran which says... Um, uh, no, 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 no. That no man can ever encompass knowledge. He can only know to the extent that Allah reveals knowledge to him. Encompassment of knowledge is only for Allah. And what is Allah? He encompasses the entire unit thing, he is encircling everything. 
nothing beyond him, outside him. So such a vast being with such vast knowledge cannot be conceived by any human being or any being at whatever stage of development that be. So when we say that Allah made himself manifestly clear and perfected his vision, we always say it in relation to the capacity of that particular being to which the vision was perfected. So it should be very clearly understood that Ahadrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the culmination of creation that we know. Our Alameen that, that is that are in our knowledge. And no person, no being, including the angels of which we have knowledge through the Holy Quran, could perceive Allah wider than he did, greater in depth than he did, more intensely than he did, more personally than he did. So that is the perfection of the concept of Allah which could potentially be conceived by man. Hazrat Masih Maud peace be upon him, has given us this light and the most beautiful aspect of the character of Ahazur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That it was he, right from the beginning, who was mentioned as the Caliph to be, the real Adam, and he reached the maximum of what he was created for. That is Miraj. And uh, no other prophet knew those asma, the attributes of Allah, as they were known and experienced by Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the angels didn't know that either. They had completely no knowledge. And even the earlier prophets had no knowledge of all those asma, as uh, the knowledge was revealed to Hazur Akram Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by Allah Ta'ala Himself. So this is in nutshell the meaning of Asma. You ex in fact I didn't want to speak on this because it needed uh, you know more time than I have devoted to it. But you very cleverly drew me into it. <laughs> 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 but you know all your questions very well and you have been telling me that some of your questions are long and require short answers and some of your questions are short and require long answers. Have you not been telling me this yourself? Pardon? <laughs> okay.